Chapter 1, A Cowboy's Calling The vast, rugged expanse of Lincoln County, New Mexico, stretched out before Jacob Jake Levine, a canvas of endless horizon and weathered earth. The scorching sun beat down relentlessly, yet Jake reveled in the familiar rhythm of the range, his body moving with the practiced ease of a seasoned cowboy. As he guided his horse through the winding trails, the rhythmic thud of hooves echoed across the landscape, a symphony of man and beast in perfect harmony. Jake's keen eyes scanned the undulating terrain, alert to the slightest shift in the cattle's movements. This was his domain, a place where he found solace and purpose amidst the vastness of the American frontier. Though he was a Jew, an outsider in the predominantly Christian world of the American West, Jake had carved out a niche for himself among the rugged ranchers and cowhands of Lincoln County. His unwavering work ethic, expert knowledge of the land, and natural affinity for the cattle had earned him a respected place in the community. Yet, even as he thrived in the saddle, Jake could not escape the subtle undercurrents of prejudice that permeated the region. The whispers and sidelong glances of those who viewed him as a curiosity, a stranger in this harsh, unforgiving land, never quite faded. It was a burden he carried with a quiet, steely resolve. His faith and sense of identity a bulwark against the isolation he sometimes felt. As the sun began its descent, Jake guided his herd back towards the Levine family homestead, the familiar sight of the weathered wooden structures a welcome sight. The scent of his mother's cooking wafted through the air, a comforting reminder of the traditions and rituals that anchored him to his heritage. Dismounting, Jake led his horse to the stables, pausing to give the animal a gentle pat. Good work today, my friend, he murmured, his voice tinged with the Yiddish inflections he had learned from his parents. In this place, where the stark realities of frontier life often overshadowed the customs of his people, Jake clung to the small reminders of his Jewish identity. Jacob, there you are, my boy, a deep voice called out, and Jake turned to see his father, Avram Levine, striding towards him. The older man's weathered face broke into a proud smile as he clasped his son's shoulder. I heard you and the herd came in without incident. Well done. Thank you, Father, Jake replied, returning the smile. It was a long day, but the cattle are safe and accounted for. I'm grateful for the chance to put my skills to use. Avram nodded, his expression turning serious. Yes, and it's a good thing, too. These are troubling times, with the Murphy Dolan faction stirring up so much unrest. I fear they have set their sights on our little community. Jake felt a familiar knot of unease form in the pit of his stomach. The ongoing feud between the powerful Murphy Dolan political machine and the McSween faction had been simmering for months, and the Jewish settlers like the Levines found themselves caught in the crosshairs. What do you think they'll do, Father? I'm not sure, but we must be vigilant, Avram said, his brow furrowed with concern. They've already been harassing the other ranchers, trying to force them out. I worry it's only a matter of time before they come for us as well. Jake's jaw tightened with determination. Then we'll be ready. I'll do whatever it takes to protect our home and our people. Avram studied his son for a long moment, a flicker of pride in his eyes. I know you will, Jacob. You've become a fine young man, and I'm honored to call you my son. As they made their way towards the house, Jake couldn't help but feel the weight of his father's words. The responsibility to defend his community, to uphold the values and traditions that had sustained his family for generations, was a heavy burden. But it was one he was willing to bear. For this land had become as much a part of him as the faith that guided his steps. Inside the modest but well-kept home, the familiar sights and sounds of the Levine household greeted Jake. His mother, Sarah, bustled about the kitchen her gentle humming punctuated by the sizzle of cooking meat and the clatter of dishes. His younger siblings, Rachel and Isaac, were engaged in a lively debate over the week's Torah portion, their youthful voices mingling with the crackle of the fire. As Jake settled into his customary seat at the table, the sense of belonging and purpose that had eluded him in the outside world seemed to envelop him. Here, amidst the familiar rhythms of family life, he found the strength to face the challenges that lay ahead. Ah, there's my wandering cowboy, Sarah said, her eyes crinkling with affection as she placed a steaming plate of roasted chicken and potatoes before him.
I trust you and the herd had a good day? Yes, mother, Jake replied, his mouth watering at the sight of the hearty meal. The cattle are all accounted for, and the range is holding up well, despite the dry spell. That's my boy, Sarah said, her hand lingering on his shoulder for a moment before she turned her attention to the rest of the family. Now come, everyone. It's time to give thanks and welcome the Sabbath. As they gathered around the table, the soft glow of the candles casting a warm light over the scene, Jake felt a profound sense of gratitude wash over him. In this place, amidst the familiar rituals and the embrace of his loved ones, he was home. Whatever challenges the future held, he knew that he would face them with the strength and resilience that had been passed down through the generations of his people. With a deep breath, Jake joined his family in the blessings, his voice mingling with theirs in a timeless refrain. In this moment, the weight of the world beyond their door seemed to fade, and Jake knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be.